1870, America, the era of the Gilded Age of the United States. It was the birth of great corporations and monopolies that conquered the world. The time of the first billionaires who rewrote the history. Now you can start from the bottom and become the shadow ruler of the world. Your weapon, well, it's money, influence, and cunning. Now don't forget to find the successful companies and buy them quicker than your rivals. You'll have to be ruthless. Get control over the companies and put your own people at the helm. Absorb your competitors' companies and then dominate the market, gaining excessive profit. And if you have to rewrite the laws, be ready to lobby politicians and to expand your influence. And when the rivals decide to cross your way, you will need to challenge them. Corrupt officials creating barriers and intrigues against enemies. Only you decide how to achieve the goal. Join unions, find unique friends. It's your agents of influence. In a hard moment, they will dig up dirt, eliminate the character you want, and open the doors for you in the world of power and endless possibilities. You'll be winning luxury items and pieces of art at the auctions. While gathering collections, you will be able to achieve necessary alliances and gain trust in the high circle. There are decades of history in front of you which you will be able to influence. You can create the most powerful financial empire. No one should know who really rules the world.
In the 1970s, the microcomputer revolution launched a new era. Since then, computing performance nearly doubled every year. 64 kilobytes <laughs> or 64 terabytes. It was never enough. As businesses expanded, invented, and marketed, our lives dramatically changed. The aim is global acclaim. We got video games and a new culture was born. We got the internet and distances disappeared. We got implants and crystal devices. Then the human brain has evolved. How far off is technological singularity and the end of human supremacy? Nobody knows but a computer tycoon. Peggy 12. Twelve. Action! Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. For years at Two Point Hospital, it's been our mission to help and to heal. Take Trevor, for instance. Trevor used to be happy, healthy, and wealthy. Life was good. He slept easily. That was until he suddenly developed... <laughs> Oh. 
lightheadedness. The daily commute is now even more of a grind for Trevor. Even simple pleasures like heading to the movies can be painful. Every day we welcome new admissions to our growing multi-million dollar facility. Our team of highly trained clinicians and support staff are dedicated to your well-being. We'll do whatever it takes. At Two Point Hospital, we never stop improving. We never stop building. We never stop caring. Isn't that right, Trevor? Call 4417-529-U-SICK today to book your free consultation. Cut!
Hi, this is Jan Benesch from Oxymoron Games. Welcome to a quick update for Project Hospital Alpha. In this video, I'd like to have a closer look at some of the main features, some details. Let's start with building. We prepared this little example to showcase some of the customization options, some of the features of building mode. We'll be building a doctor's office. So let's start with walls and let's match the pattern and the color. And then let's do the same for floors. So it's all similar to the neighboring rooms. Now we can switch to logistics and set the area to actually be a GP's office. Now in logistics or in building mode, you can always click the room to show a filter of objects that are either required or optional. So I can already start putting in everything. I'll, I'll just go with a similar layout as the room next door. When you place objects that attach, they match the orientation of the object you put them on. Also the same applies to office chairs. All right, uh, trash bin. Some cabinets with equipment. I can maybe use like a different version, low mounted cabinets. And at this point, nothing's orange anymore, so we have a fully functional office. But we can keep going for a while. Let's add a plant as a decoration. We probably should put in a chair for the patients so they don't have to stand. And for example, also a bookcase for the doctor so they have something to do in their free time. All right, let's diagnose a patient. So this is the patient card, the main user interface for dealing with patients in general. And in the different sections, it shows the possible diagnosis the patient might have based on symptoms we know about. Uh, also, it shows us how many hidden symptoms we still need to discover using the list of examinations below. Uh, the process always starts with an interview, which is where we discovered uh, the, the first three symptoms, basically, what the patient knows about and tells the doctor. And the list of examinations has uh, stuff ranging from whatever can be performed at the doctor's office to lab tests, while the lab tests usually can be used to directly confirm the diagnosis, but are usually slow and expensive. So let's try to figure out which one of these three it is in this case, so I guess we can schedule examination, mouth examination, so okay. definitely chest listening would make sense. So now we, when we unpause and let's speed it up a bit, we can see the doctor doing his job and hopefully we'll see some more symptoms appear as the examination jump from planned to active to finished. And there was something, maybe that was summer throat. And now uh, I think it was chest listening that discovered diffuse wheezes and basically managed to eliminate two of the three diagnoses. Now we can proceed to treatment. So let's confirm bronchitis as the final diagnosis and as you can see in the bottom of the tooltip the main treatment is antibiotics so let's schedule that and if we had any critical symptoms we could schedule special treatment for these or maybe we can just be nice and give the patient medicine for everything so again now we, we unpause let me speed it up again you can see the doctor prescribing everything uh, I think he'll recommend bed rest. And now all that's left for us to do is to send the patient home. Automation. Create your own car company. Build the car of your dreams from scratch. Design engines in staggering detail.
elevate your brand, reputation, factories, production, distribution, research, marketing, finances, and staff. But this is Early Access. Automation is borderline edutainment. Take control of our in-depth engine designer. And brain-bending car designer. The car company Tycoon Game. Join the engineering madness today. Automation. Download now on Steam Early Access. The production that once was suddenly halted to a standstill when the economic depression hit the markets worldwide. Factories stand stagnant, trade has come to a grinding halt, and jobs are disappearing at a rapid rate. But what does that sound like? Well, opportunity. Land and resources are ripe for the taking. Factories are itching to be fired up and hold smoke in their lungs once more. Gatherers are ready to supply the resources you will require. Time is now to invest and to carve out your own industrial empire by shaping the land to your will. Foresight, factories, hard work, and the engine are what will make your world turn. It is up to you to use what is there. Start small and build your company up. Hire a workforce, manage your investments, and strike profitable business deals. But be prepared. Your dream will not go unchallenged. Others will compete for profits. Pollution will spread if left unchecked. And natural disasters can hit at any time. It's survival of the fittest. An industry is your means to survive and prosper. Climb to the top and create your own industrial empire. 